Welcome to new Savage S app podcast or Savage S podcast. It's all about uh, my Sony Xperia 10 Plus device and the apps I'm running, I'm running on this device. So all the nice little Selfish S apps and Android apps. I got a question about yeah, which apps I'm actually running on my device. So I will go through the list of all those apps I have installed on my uh, Sony Xperia 10 Plus device. And uh, yeah, I want to show you uh, what I have installed here and uh, not only native applications, but also Android applications that run via the Alien Dalvik Android runtime so let's dig into it and uh, yeah keep starting with the list uh, let's start with all the applications I've installed you can see I have the telephone app the um, message app the browser the camera app I don't think I have to show you the browser the camera app the context the store the gallery the settings the tutorial terminal or weather app or even the notes uh, calculator documents media calendar email app no i don't have to tell you about this also i think i don't have to tell you about storeman because this is the uh, major uh, app store one of the major app stores for savage uh, besides the color store itself i have filecat installed which is my uh, file manager that i wrote for savage and as you can see here i can choose between uh, the android um, uh, the android folder where all the android files are uh, downloads uh, where all my downloads are uh, music files where my music files are and so on uh, so it's a nice little um, application that allows you to see settings for example and uh, properties of files and folders uh, list uh, them you can rename them you can change the permissions if you like to change permissions and of course you have the option to cop copy cut and paste or select different files and folders and copy uh, different files and folders and paste them somewhere else. Uh, file manager, then there's a code reader for reading uh, QR codes. So if I want to read a QR code, of course I had to have to have a QR code here. It will be very handy for reading QR codes. Then I have a folder called social media. We have several apps. First of all, the Tutor application, which is uh, the Mastodon application, the Mastodon client for Selfish S. It will load in a second and we load uh, the Mastodon uh, Toots in this case and I have the same also with social media for Twitter so Peepmats it's called and it's one of the best clients for when it comes to reading tweets and answering tweets and so on so this is uh, for Twitter and then I have QuickDate which is a Reddit client for Selfish OS which allows me to read uh, Reddit stuff and uh, I can go to subreddits just like for example when I go to the let's go to the Selfish OS subreddit and hit enter and now I'm in the Selfish OS subreddit uh, as you can see here so that's this um, besides that I have Farplan which is an application for navigation in uh, the public transport so in this case I can choose between different uh, public transport um, companies like in this case it's Bahn.de because usually I'm in Germany but you can go to settings and can change this uh, to different countries as you can see here it has all the major countries uh, in Europe uh, and even uh, uh, overseas some countries where it gets uh, data from but there's another application I use for this, uh, which is an Android application, uh, which I will show you uh, in a second. Then of course I have my web browser WebCat, which is uh, the best of course with the new Qt WebKit 5 uh, 212 version, which allows you to search and navigate uh, via the web uh, in a pretty uh, good fashion. Uh, then of course there's my video player, a little video player, which allows you to, uh, yeah, uh, watch videos on YouTube for example, download videos on YouTube, download music files on YouTube, uh, play music and uh, video files. This is what I use. Uh, also pretty known I think. Then when it comes to taking cameras, I'm not using the normal camera app, I'm using the advanced camera app uh, because it has some more advanced features just like for example better focusing mode. So I'm now in automatic focusing mode, I can go to manual and then can choose my focusing point and it will not, will not change the focusing point when I 
hit the shutter button, which is a nice feature. Also has some other, uh, some other nice additions, just like for example I have different modes here I can choose uh, from and uh, different effects I can choose from, just like for example if I want to have a negative effect. You can see now everything is appearing in a negative uh, color format. So this is also pretty nice. Also auto white balance I can uh, set here. Um, ISO and many many different other things. I have a video mode as well where I can record videos with which also pretty uh, much works all the time. This is my favorite application when it comes to taking photos and uh, videos on Safish OS. Works not only the Xperia 10 Plus but also the uh, Xperia 10, Xperia XA2, 2 Plus and uh, Xperia X devices. I think even the Yola one still works a bit. Then my favorite application when it comes to podcasting uh, is uh, this application called uh, G-Podder and uh, this allows you to simply watch uh, pod, uh, watch no download podcasts and watch for new podcast streams and so on which is a nice uh, feature here as well uh, why g potter some might ask um, because i think it's the most feature complete uh, podcasting client for selfish s so you have chapter mark support you have um, support for podcasts just let's dive into the information here and you can see you have the chapter marks here you can jump to a specific uh, point and especially in a longer um, a podcast and can jump directly to the interesting parts of the podcast and you have of course support for uh, lists uh, so playing list playlists you can add a different podcast to your playlist and then just play them back um, which is a nice addition. So what do we have after Gpodder? We have uh, map applications. I have quite a lot of here and uh, not all, all of them are really map applications but most of them are. There's for example Pure Maps which is a uh, map application, a native map application using OpenStreetMap which works together with um, the OpenStreetMap um, um, offline navigation which, which is very very nice as you can see here and uh, it uh, shows the current location um, in Auckland New Zealand where I am right now and I have of course uh, the option to navigate and other things um, I think there are videos out there about view maps already so it's not very interesting but it's handy to have also uh, some other apps and testing some other apps. Here we go, for example, is an Android application uh, which has some special features. Just uh, for example, it has um, very good support for um, transportation, public transportation. So you can easily find your way around and it uses different um, map material than OpenStreetMap. Uh, which is also sometimes uh, very handy and has a 3D view of the world as well as you can see here. And then there are some other applications that I commonly use uh, OSM and for OpenStreetMap of course and Maps.me which is a new application and Maps.me is a new application, a new application that I discovered or that I'm using right now is basically OSM and uh, a little bit lighter, easier to use and with uh, a bit of um, a bit of uh, better user interface and uh, faster map application than uh, OSM and it has some features uh, that are pretty interesting just like for example you can you can have the option to rate several restaurants and uh, see ratings of other people that uh, were in the restaurant for example or a hotel or something like this so this is a pretty nice uh, map application this is why I'm using this as well and then I have an application called transporter public transport all around the world supported by transporter a, bit, a little bit better than Farplan because Farplan you have a limited list of uh, stuff uh, because this also have has a map app uh, built in and uh, you can see it is locating me here and uh, I can then search for um, public transportation in specific and it will give me the directions where to go uh, which uh, bus or train to use and uh, how long it will take and it can give you even an alarm uh, if you, when you have to get off especially in Auckland in New Zealand it's very important as the bus and train uh, trains not but the buses don't uh, show uh, the next stop so you have to 
just look out the window or know exactly where you have to uh, get off otherwise you can uh, get a bit lost especially as buses are not stopping at every bus stop only if someone wants to get out or uh, wants to get in it will stop uh, so this is for public transportation then I have Depesha which is a telegram client don't have to show this to you I think and then I have web applications there I have uh, Yola together which is the application that I use for uh, seeing all the Yola forum, uh, Yola Together website entries and I can chat with people or I can read stuff or can search stuff which is pretty interesting. There's another application as well but it's not working anymore. I think it has not been updated. Uh, you can get it to work by uh, manually editing some PML file but um, yeah I just stick with Yola Together as I know this application. Uh, very well and there's another application called IRC so sometimes I have to go still on uh, the IRC to uh, chat with people and yeah I see up is for this uh, then some system applications I have GPS info to get some uh, general GPS information AIDA 64 a pretty good application if you want to get um, system information about your hardware uh, Crest is an application that shows all running applications so you can see here not only uh, Android application, uh, not only native applications, but also Android applications are shown here. And I can also even say, yeah, I want the system applications also to be listed here, and then it will list uh, all of those applications. I have even the option to, if I want to kill, uh, terminate, or kill an application, I can do this here as well from this application. So pretty nice if something is hanging. Then I have Sysmon. Sysmon is an analyzing application which can analyze battery data, for example, the battery charge, the CPU usage over time, and uh, the RAM usage over time, and uh, CPU sleep over time, which is also a pretty nice and handy application, especially if you have a new device just like the Xperia 10 Plus that I have here. And uh, then there are, of course, some other applications like IP address, which, which is what is my IP address, especially if you're on a public Wi-Fi or something like this or um, Wi-Fi of a friend or something like this, you want to know your IP address, it's pretty nice. Also Wi-Fi analyzer for analyzing Wi-Fi is very important if you want to choose the right uh, channel for your, your 2.5 GHz Wi-Fi rotor. And uh, Mimer, of course, my application to setting MIME times, Messwerk in general to see if all sensors are working, and a charge monitor just installed because someone was asking me a question about charge monitor, if it's showing me wrong, wrong data. And apparently uh, it's not optimized for the Xperia 10 Plus and shows some wrong data sometimes, eventually. Uh, then I have some utilities and a utilities folder and there you can see I have Noto for taking uh, notes and to-dos, uh, tiny edit for some text files, a BM, um, BMI calculator, if you want to calculate, uh, stay healthy, calculate uh, your uh, body mass index, you can do this here with the uh, BMI uh, calculator. And there's a screen message, message sometimes helpful uh, if you want to uh, type in a text, just like, especially on the Xperia 10 Plus, uh, and it will display it in, in big letters, and uh, especially useful if you want to uh, tell someone something in big letters on your smartphone, uh, which you cannot reach via phone or uh, with a call. Uh, I just want to show it to uh, some workers outside of the window that are very loud working on building another skyscraper here. Not sure if you can hear this in the background. Uh, then there are some other apps like Sail DB Meter. I can show you then the DB metering as you can see here. Uh, workers are working hard. Here you can see it's also a nice uh, living room music it says or a police whistle so it's in this kind of uh, uh, categories that uh, can be seen here and then uh, it's also sometimes handy there's a paint application so just like the name says you can try to paint something and uh, save your masterpiece for later also sometimes handy if you want to create just simply a list of stuff that you need to buy or something like this and can use your finger to uh, do this and there's Kenzeichen which is uh, basically the car signs uh, uh, that you can see here. So you can go into settings and then see what kind of uh, uh, stuff you want to have. And you can set, of course, also the 
a name which is pretty interesting if you want to figure out uh, what uh, um, car plate, license plate, which number or which letter means uh, um, something or which country or state or um, city it's coming from. There's search Nemo which allows you to search inside of text files of Selfish OS um, files. Uh, there's Papuccio, Papuccio which is also a paint application um, and it has some nice features as well. Uh, and you can save canvases and uh, clear canvases as you can see here and I can clear the canvas and I have some other options here as well uh, for painting this nice little painting application uh, not so crowded I find it especially useful um, when comparing to paint because it's just for text mostly what I use it for then there's a compass of course I don't have to explain it to you I'm not sure if the compass is even working I think it is not working on no it's not working on Xperia 10 plus so it's just installed because I had it installed on another phone there's MeCalc another um, calculating application there's unit converter sometimes pretty handy if you have to convert units if you are on a vacation in the States for example and they do use a, a different unit system you can use this but it also has currency conversions so this might be also interesting I'm currently in New Zealand and I use a New Zealand dollar and I can I use this to convert uh, the um, currency. And then there is the recorder, which is simply a basic audio recorder, which allows you to record audio. It has some settings, as you can see here, you can record uh, in uh, different codecs like FLAC, Vorbis, Speaks, uh, or PCM. And you can choose even a sample rate if you want to, uh, to do some recordings, which is pretty handy. Yeah, next side fun uh, folder. They have Sail Imager. It's an Imager client. Gagbook, which is a 9 gag client. I can don't want to show you all of the applications. Don't want to open all of the applications, but at least Gagbook is a pretty good one. Also uh, updated pretty frequently, so you get the newest stuff from here. And uh, let's go back to fun. There's some other applications. Took Chara, my own application. Uh, that I just have here to, for, for testing purposes if it's running or not. Uh, Tushbox, which I pretty much uh, also use uh, sometimes when it comes to yeah, just playing back some uh, little snippets. Um, so it can, like, by, by default, uh, it acts like a, a Cologne Carnival uh, um, uh, playback application, just like. Not sure if you could hear it. There's a, a nice little sound here that you can play back. Uh, but you can configure it. You can say soundboards and you can then create uh, new soundboards if you want to. Uh, and uh, you can add your own sounds if you want to have your own sounds. Uh, just for example, funny sounds from The Simpsons, funny sounds from uh, Rick and Morty, funny sounds from, from different kind of uh, uh, things that you want to play back. Um, you can do this here with this uh, application. Uh, also my application by the way. Uh, then there is uh, Photofania which is also interesting if you want to edit some photos sometimes to load all the photos and you have the option to uh, uh, add some nice effects. So you have here some uh, templates, smoke flare for example and yes yeah, so you can see here this is how it will look like and what you can do is just simply replace the face of this uh, sheet replace the face of this lady for example with your own face and then you can just simply do such uh, collages or uh, edits uh, in photos uh, which is a pretty nice uh, feature and I use it sometimes I use it sometimes as well then there's bash reader if you want to read about uh, very funny uh, comments around the IRC around the internet uh, then you can do this here uh, and um, yeah also uh, handy sometimes if you want to laugh 
those are all the fun applications and there's encode encode is an audio and video converter for selfish i use it sometimes if i have to convert if i want to extract audio from a video file for example or i just simply want to convert a file to a different format so i can use it on my usb stick and plug it into my tv which uh, only accepts uh, certain formats i can do this here uh, pretty easily with my smartphone um, by the way this uses a lot of power so uh, might be not good to convert everything it's just uh, it's possible under selfish s then there are some streaming applications i have received which is a radio streaming application for selfish s a native one you can add some favorites at customs i don't have anything in here because i didn't use it you can browse through different radio stations and i can go into top 100 for example and it will list me the top 100 radio stations and I can uh, just add uh, my famous uh, radio stations, uh, my favorite ra radio stations if I like to add them and you can listen to them, uh, which is also pretty handy. It uses the internet, of course, for this. And uh, yeah, streaming, there, there are some other applications, just like, for example, there is Newpipe, which is a YouTube streaming application for some reason. It's an Android application for some reason. It's also open source. You can get it on F-Droid uh, for some reason. Um, let me just play a random video here for some reason on uh, Sailfish X it doesn't work uh, on the Xperia 10 Plus I'm not sure why uh, I found a new application lately uh, my Huawei smartphone has uh, recommended me a VitMate in the Huawei app gallery and I didn't know about this but it's also available and it's another uh, YouTube streaming application uh, an Android application which works apparently so if i want uh, and it almost looks like the native youtube application that you can find on android without using um, google uh, services or play services and yeah i can just click on a video and this one acts like the youtube player and this one even plays back stuff and as you can see here i can just have a very yeah similar uh, experience to the YouTube app so if someone uh, coming from Android wants to have a similar experience when it comes to YouTube app uh, Vitmate is uh, the way to go and the other thing is Amazon Music I have some uh, music that I buy uh, via Amazon so I'm not only streaming you know uh, almost never stream music files I always download or buy uh, stuff uh, that I like and uh, yeah I'm using Amazon Music for this and there's Selfish Connect for connecting with KDE Connect. It's a KDE Connect client. I can connect to my uh, laptop, for example, and share the um, clipboard. I can copy links over, can copy files over, and have uh, option over uh, controlling my media player on my um, laptop uh, and such things. There's Fishnet Mount, also a very handy application if you want to mount. Um, different network shares just like for example you can use SMB, SIFS, NFS, SSHFS and NFS uh, version 4 um, so you can mount them directly into selfish shares and then use my file manager for example filecat to browse the files copy files over uh, nice and easy yeah then there is audio output audio output allows you to set various different audio outputs for your Yes, this is just for debugging stuff and if I want to uh, select a specific output even if I have headphones plugged in or something like this and I want to listen to music via speakers I can do this fancy thing um, it's uh, more for debugging purposes I'm not using it uh, pretty actively then there's photocopierer which is pretty nice um, application if you want to scan in documents um, back in the day uh, we used normal scanners laser scanners but nowadays more and more people are using the smartphone cameras and you have a nice application here which allows you to optimize uh, the photo that you take of a document and just like for example I have an Uber Eats uh, coupon code here and uh, I scanned it in and I'm uh, not sure if I can show the original one the original one looks has color on just like uh, let's take I'm not sure if I can show you this no I don't have it but uh, this one uh, uh, white balance there it turns it into black and white so the text gets more pronounced and you can read the text e more easily and looks more like a scanned in document so this is a nice addition also what's pretty nice if you open up the application you can go into the edit mode and there you can see the original photo that I took 
and uh, this is the thing that you have to do you can uh, original photo that you took you can choose the area that you want to use and then it will uh, also correct uh, eventually in parts uh, some trape trapeze effect uh, and yeah uh, this is then the end result that will come out of this application a pretty nice application photocopier i think i did also a screencast uh, or a video about this then there's an ebay application markart ebay client which allows you to at least uh, see what you bid for or see the things that you were looking for last time and uh, here you can see i have listed i'm i'm um, have on my watch list two mini computer things this is pretty old but remembers me i have to reminds me i have to remove them and uh, removing them is pretty easy as you can see here and they should get removed uh, you need to have an ebay account otherwise you cannot search here you cannot use the application and uh, yeah you can browse applications here you can see uh, let's search for for example let's search for the yola phone uh, even if I did a typo there, I should find it. Eventually, someone is selling a Yola phone on eBay. Yeah, as you can see here, and it's a good white one. Uh, ah, in this case, my security token is not valid anymore. I have to re-log in. But in general, it works. You get information about the product, and you cannot buy anything from this application. You have to go to the website anyway. But you can see most of the information uh, that might be um, important. Uh, then there are some language tools, just, just like for example Tao Translator, which allows you to translate everything to everything. Basically, it uses different backends in the uh, background. You can see it uses Google, Microsoft, Yandex uh, uh, for translation, and you can just type in something in here, and it will it will uh, translate it uh, to your language. Just let me type an, uh, a German word here and. You can see it now uses Google, I think, for translation, and uh, the, it can recognize the uh, language as well, and you can uh, have the translation here. Pretty nice and handy, um, especially if you're uh, not in your own country, somewhere else. Then there's LeadSpeak, just my tool, because I have to install all my tools to check if they're still working and uh, if they're still running. It's just a fancy LeadSpeak application, so everything you type in, as you can see here, will be turned into lead speak uh, pretty nice and easy fancy application there's dict as well which is also an uh, option to uh, it's a dictionary so you can search for words just like let's try again search for foosball which is soccer as you might have learned and it then searches so it just searches and there you can see it has different translations uh, german english one german french one as well uh, German Dutch one and uh, German Portuguese one so if you want to have translation different uh, types of uh, uh, translations you can use dict as well um, or you just want to check back and forth which has a better translation or different translation for a word for example yeah the languages and there are AD stores alien Dalvik stores so Android applications where do I get my Android applications from primarily F-Droid, mostly because there's open source applications, I trust those applications there and they have pretty nice and good applications uh, there uh, which I uh, like to use. Also I upgrade most of the applications from here as well and yeah it's a good uh, store uh, that I can fully recommend. Uh, then there's some other alternatives if you, have, if you really want something from the Play Store I have two options here either APK Mirror uh, some of you might know it as a website. There's an application, Android application for it as well, which is basically a wrapper around the website and uh, which allows you to download stuff as well. And uh, uh, yeah, it has almost all the APKs um, that you can imagine. And then there's Yelp, uh, no, not Yelp, Aurora Store, which is uh, uh, the uh, an option to um, access the Play Store. You have an, an uh, anonymous login, or you can use your Google account to log into the play store and you can download apks from uh, the google play store um, if you really need that of course not all of the play store apks will work without google play services so be aware of this 
And here two app icons, OSM Scout server and OSM Scout server something else, I think traffic or something. This is basically what I use for uh, the offline navigation within uh, Pure Maps. So if I use uh, where's my map application, map, Pure Maps, it will not use online data when I'm um, uh, walking around it. You will use the OSM Scout server. Go on the OSM Scout server, you can see you have there the option to download different uh, maps. And uh, yeah, you can go into the map and um, uh, map configuration. Here you can see I have uh, downloaded Australia and Oceania, New Zealand uh, map, and the Europe, Germany, North Westphalia map as well. You can see the sizes, and you can, if you want to, of course, uh, choose different other maps. It will use OpenStreetMap to download stuff as well, and you can download them and then use them with not only Pure Maps but other applications that uh, um, are accessing OSM Scout server. Then I have Nextcloud because Nextcloud is connecting to my Nextcloud. I have a Nextcloud and um, yeah, it's connecting to um, files and folders. Uh, Nextcloud, my Nextcloud, and I have some APKs for example here put into the APK folder. Uh, Lantern installer for example here in this case. Uh, which is a VPN client. Uh, so that's basically it. There's a perfect piano still. If you like to play a bit of piano, it's also an Android application. Uh, found it has one of the best sounds. And uh, so I can go here into the keyboard and I can start then playing uh, uh, what I want. Um, uh, So you can play uh, stuff, you have a metronome as well, you can record stuff as well and you have the option to choose between if you want for example two rows of key keys but a bit smaller, uh, Eckhertz uh, or classical one and you have some other things here as well uh, just like I want to see 4D4 printed on the keys or Do, Re, Mi, uh, Fa, So and so on. And I can choose even the uh, piano type that I want to have, and yeah, I can, I think, even use uh, some uh, custom ones if I like to. Uh, a nice application, Android application, uh, and I think you can only get it from the Play Store, so use MPK Mirror or Aurora Store. Then I have Fennec Fdroid here, which is basically from the logo you can tell, it's a Firefox browser, but the Fdroid version, so with less proprietary stuff, and uh, compiled on the Fdroid Store. And yeah, sometimes I'm also using Google Maps in the browser here. And uh, with the F-Droid uh, Fennec browser, it works as well. I can locate, locate me and then I can navigate stuff here with this. And the cool thing is about the uh, Firefox browser and Fennec in this case, it has this little icon uh, when other applications are available as well for map apps, for example. I click on this and it will search for uh, the, uh, the application, in this case it only found one application which is OSM and, and OSM and will then uh, see my location. I'm not sure why it's on directly switching to OSM and maybe I set OSM and as default application, map application. Uh, but usually you can also get a list of stuff and for example if I'm on Reddit, uh, let's go quickly on reddit.com slash r slash Selfish OS, and yeah, it should pop up as well. And there, if I have a Reddit client installed, but I don't have an Android Reddit client, so probably could be that it is not popping up. And yeah, but I have the option to install it via Aurora Store or F Droid, the Reddit client, if I like to. If I go to Aurora Store, I think it wants me to log in, um, but in general, uh, this works for installing applications. Yeah, um, that are all applications here running on my Xperia 10 Plus device. I hope you enjoyed this overview 
and uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it if you have some tips and tricks on some other applications that you are using on your xperia devices not only xperia 10 xa2 x uh, yala c yala one uh, whatever then uh, you can uh, write me a comment down below and uh, thanks for watching until the next time bye